Hello guys, girls and other pals and welcome to a new video here on my channel. In today's video I'm going to carry out the photochlorination of toluene in order to produce benzyl chloride, benzyl chloride and benzyl trichloride. In this photochlorination a UV light source cleaves molecules of chlorine into chlorine radicals. These then substitute the hydrogen on the methyl group of the toluene with chlorine. The molar ratio of chlorine to toluene hereby affects the product. One mole of chlorine to one mole of toluene mostly yields benzyl chloride. Two to one mainly yields benzyl benzyl chloride and three to one mainly benzyl trichloride. The UV source for this would usually be a mercury vapor lamp which has a large output in the UV range. Those are usually extremely expensive and need special drivers. Now here is what I can afford. This is a 40 watt black light which should produce UVA light between 315 and 400 nanometers. I also found this old and extremely unsafe 600 watt panning lamp at my mother's stuff. Like you can see it is extremely bright to the point where I have to wear a welder's mask. Feels like holding a tiny sun in my hand. Although I'm not sure about its spectrum, it should still have a lot of power in the UV range. For the first chlorination I set up a TCCA and hydrochloric acid chlorine generator. I used a 1 to 1 molar ratio of chlorine to toluene, which should produce mainly benzyl chloride, and I was doing this on the 1 molar scale. The chlorine was let into a round bottom flask in which the toluene was added later. A condenser was connected to the flask in order to keep the toluene at a reflux. The black light was placed close to the flask in order to irradiate the toluene. The reagents were added and the toluene was heated. After the toluene started boiling, the lamp was turned on and the chlorine production was started. The chlorination was pretty uneventful and the chlorine was added over the course of two hours. After the chlorination was finished everything was left to cool down and the apparatus was disassembled. The chlorination mixture was set up for distillation and the flask was heated. The first reaction coming over was toluene. So much toluene in fact that I thought that the experiment had failed. 
but after only a small amount of liquid was remaining in the glass, the temperature started rising again. Only about 20 milliliters of benzyl chloride was collected before the temperature started rising again, and a few milliliters of benzyl chloride were collected. The benzyl chloride was added into a pre-weight bottle and the yield was calculated. This reaction was very crappy with a very low yield of only 20%. For the second chlorination I used basically the same setup but did it on a 2 molar scale and used the 1.5 to 1 molar ratio of chlorine to toluene. I also used the 600 watt tanning light instead of the black light. I started by heating the toluene and after it started boiling the lamp was turned on and the chlorine production was started. Because of the immense amount of heat created by the tanning light, it started to boil uncontrollably and the toluene began to overflow the condenser. The heating mantle was turned off and more distance was put between the reaction flask and the lamp. After this the chlorination was continued. The chlorine was added over the course of 4 hours. After the apparatus was left to cool down, it was disassembled. The chlorinated liquid was set up for distillation and heating of style. Unlike the first experiment, nearly no chlorine came over and the temperature climbed the benzyl chloride nearly immediately. After about 170 milliliters of benzyl chloride came over, the temperature started rising and the next reaction was collected. This reaction should contain the benzyl chloride. About 20 ml came over and the temperature started rising again, and the last reaction was collected. This reaction should contain benzyl trichloride. But at this temperature, it is probable that also other unwanted chlorinated side products came over as well. Only a few milliliters were collected and the distillation was turned off as the temperature started rising. In the first remaining was a small amount of highly chlorinated and polymerized compounds, which will be counted as waste. Here you can see the three fractions. Left is the benzyl chloride, in the middle is the benzyl chloride, and right is the benzyl trichloride. They were added into pre-weight bottles and the yield was calculated. Based upon pencil colors, the yield was 74.3%, which is very good for this kind of reaction. But if the combined yield of benzyl chloride, benzyl chloride and benzyl trichloride is calculated based on toluene, the yield rises to 83.6%, which makes it even better. Although I use double the molar amount for the second chlorination, I can clearly see that with the tanning lamp, a much higher yield of chlorinated hydrocarbons was obtained. The black light is definitely working as well, but it is a lot weaker than the tanning lamp.
I hope you liked my video. Bye.